Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Last time we got hold, where is she, of the spade. Do I need to equip the spade? Okay, no, I don't need to equip the spade. So, we got hold of a spade, and now we have to go and, um, and dig the trench for our, for our parents. I wish I can do the same for her, I do not want to leave her there. But anyway, we have to do so for our parents. So let's go. Yeah, no more looting corpses, I've learned my lesson. I let him get away, I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. I, w I just couldn't be bothered to go after him, the video was already long enough, so... Oh, look at the forge. Everything's torn up. Oh, come on. Oh, they turned up everything in our house. Is the house even still accessible? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, come on. Everything is turned up. There's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh well. Gotta dig the spot. This is a good place. You're gonna like it. Start digging. Okay, here we go. <sighs> oh, he's came back. Oh. Oh, look at him. Oh, two worn out dogs. <laughs> just, just tired. Let's get to it. Two worn dogs just tired. Damn it all. <laughs> How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Oh, I just. Son of a, that's why. Can't you see the sword? That's how you could run away. Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you, anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. <laughs> Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I'm not just letting you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion. You really don't. Fight me, bro. Kill him, runt. I cut the bastard down. One v one, me, bro. Come on. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Okay, okay, okay. Ow! What? Oh, come on. <clears throat> I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you help forge. Hey, go fuckers! Teresa? <laughs> Holy heck. It is her. The games are over. Leave the sword, no. Better get me that sword back. Ah, oh. wait, what? Wait, this <laughs> the credits are just now rolling. Holy hell, Tom McKay. Michael Pitham, oh, Matthew Wolf. Oh yes, thank you. Oh, <laughs> so these are the initial credits. Oh, Robart, Sir Robart. Oh, and look, Matt is coming along. Oh, so cute. Oh, I'm in for some trouble, aren't I? <laughs> so, back at Tolmberg. Someone is gonna stay with, with us. Yay! Oh, look at him go! Ah! I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't saved her? Would that even be possible? I mean, I guess it would. Wow! I mean, I guess... Someone else would just show up, but I guess not her. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Ah, oh, makes makes you want to start a new game and just try and see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and she just keeps going. Cap Henry again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a title. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, okay. To my knowledge, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness does not release for another year, so. Oh. Oh god, no. I don't want to. S oh God! Ah, 
Nee. Wat? Auw. Well, I'm leveling up, so I guess there's that. How do you... How do you, you do D-lock? Oh. Ah, okay, I have a sword. Ah. Okay, I have a sword. That's good to know. this well it's a nightmare duh right some help ooh, ooh. come on not sir radzig sword <laughs> my god Teresa, <laughs> wake me up. <laughs> Anything but this. Holy heck. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. You could say that. Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. No, 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 no. I can I can help. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rete. I didn't know where else to go. Rete. What happened? Okay. You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. We slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents. I, I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. A few delirious days later. Oh God! You're awake. Well, I was fast. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse, but at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. What in the world are you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. Oh. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. 
They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Rogard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? Sir Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. <laughs> True. Oh well, I guess I we'll learn that. Exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later. <laughs> All right. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? <laughs> Ooh. I thought I was going to say since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Yes. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. Berkstein. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight. A fortnight? Jesus. It's a good deal of coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. My God, I... I owe you. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my I life. will, yes. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. I'm assuming I lost everything. Yes, even shard. <sighs> Come on, I had that sword. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I'll take all these. I'll take the ring. I'll take whatever's in good condition and I'll sort them out later. And I'll take my red scarf for good measure, just because. As for food, well... It can all rot here for all I care. <laughs> because everything is starting to, to decay, so... Okay. Do I need to get everything? Okay. Vengeance. Alright. I'll eat from the pot. And I think we are good. I've eaten. I've recovered some strength. Okay, the meal has nothing. Ah! Hey, Mr. Peshek. Oh, yes, I will. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill for the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. 
You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Oh. Okay, what would you need me? What would you need? Okay. A trifle. Just to take something from someone and <laughs> it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. This is just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Oh, God. The corpses bother you. No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Well, come on, let's go. It'll be fun. About anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. <laughs> Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech Kohelnitz Miller had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. Yeah. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Oh, come on. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. <laughs> Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Be with you. Oh my god. This this is not gonna go well. Do I have some meat? I have some roast duck. That might work. Where's the spade? Spade! Tournament. Every seven days at Redway Upper Castle. Okay. Okay, tournament. Okay, I'm not really up for a tournament right now. Alright. Here's the spade. Sheesh, I can't believe I'm going up to that. Quest giver. Get the dead man's ring for Miller. Okay. Oh my god. I came to the other side of the map. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, is it that a way? I better mark it on my map just to see. All right. Here I go. Okay. <coughs> Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'll be doing that. Bye. Doo -doo -doo, what a lovely day. I better equip some things, so 
I'll equip my armor. I'll equip Bianca's ring. And my armor. Can I equip? No. Okay. Oh, I forgot boots. I don't have boots. Well, thank you for not having boots. Okay. I'm assuming I can't just waddle through the forest. Can I? Hmm. Let me see. Exploring the nature a bit. Let's go. Okay, I found the path. Okay. I don't like where this is going. He shows me a gallows and I really don't like where this is going. Oh my god. What is this? Ugh. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. This is a loo. Better not sit there, just in case. Is that a pig? It's a big ass pig. Okay. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um... was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groceries. Really? Ah, oh, come on. A few? It's a deal. Here it is. It's better than just... Ah, oh, God. It's better than just... Dig for the corpse. Gallows Hill. Holy heck. Imagine if the guy swindled me. Okay. How many rings do I have? I have Bianca's ring. Oh, and I have. Okay, so it did not swindle me. That much is is guaranteed. Holy heck! Gallows Hill. All right. Okay, this would have been rather easy. Only we would come up here and we'll realize that there was no ring. All right. Okay, let's let's go. I guess. Activity giver. Oh, that is very far away. But okay. Uh, time is running out, and I guess I'll just stop it right here near Gallows Hill. We'll continue next time. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and. Please, if you have, continue your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.